Well, I'm not going to try a whole one. I'm going to go ahead and cut one. And we'll kind of see what it looks like here. Hmm. I'll tell you what. That does look interesting. Let's see what we got. Basically like a little miniature pizza roll. So I thought I'd make another recipe from that cookbook, Taste of Home. These are the air fryer cookbook. Uh, so I'll be doing this in the air fryer. This is called Pizza Puffs. And it seemed pretty interesting. Um, it says you need one pound of frozen pizza dough. I looked and looked and looked and I could not find frozen pizza dough. So I bought this one here. And this is uh, 13 ounces. But I'm only going to do a half of a recipe. So I'm going to use 8 ounces of that. We got... Uh, I'll give you the full recipe. It'll be 20 slices of pepperoni, 8 ounces of uh, part skim mozzarella cheese cut into 20 cubes, uh, a fourth cup of butter, two small garlic cloves minced, a uh, dash of salt, marinara sauce, and optional is crushed red pepper flakes and grated parmesan cheese. So I'm, I'm half in the recipe. So let me go ahead and uh, proceed to the next step and I'll show you what I'm doing here. So basically we're going to make uh, 10 uh, dough balls or we're going to try to make 10. This was uh, this was 8 ounces of the uh, dough so I'm trying to make uh, 10, 10 balls with it. Make them even. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So let me get them, let me get 10 made and basically we're going to roll them up into balls. So one thing I'm, I'm doing is uh, I kind of figured this out, but uh, you don't have to really roll it out too thin per se. Just roll it where you can barely fit the pepperoni on it. Then take your cheese and put your cheese in the middle like this, and then just grab it, fold it, grab the grab the uh, the four corners and kind of pinch everything in the middle, and then just kind of roll it in your hand a little bit, and then it's it's pretty much perfect at that point. So. That's how I'm doing them. Okay, and as you can see, that's that's ten. Like I said, I'm doing half the recipe, and I really didn't need all the cheese. Uh, I mean, if I'd have used that, that would have been too way too big to stuff in the dough, I think. So, and if you wanted to, you probably could have doubled up the pepperoni. But I did one slice of pepperoni and you know a little piece of cheese, and it's pretty simple. It takes a little while, but uh, there you go. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and uh, put this on a single layer in a greased tray in the uh, air fryer. And we're going to cook until golden brown six to eight minutes. And we're going to do it at 350. So I'm going to go ahead and preheat my air fryer to 350 before I put them in. So let me go ahead and get my tray ready. Okay, got my air. I got my tray ready. This is just aluminum foil. And I'm using some, uh, this is some extra light taste olive oil. And just kind of do that like that and go ahead and place them on there and just kind of leave a little space between them I think something like that would be good so let me go ahead and preheat the air fryer the next step is this is going to be the uh, just a, a butter sauce that we're gonna uh, place on top the uh, the, uh, the balls, or I guess in this case we we'll call them puffs. Uh, butter, garlic, salt, and we're gonna place just kind of brush that on top of the uh, the puffs uh, once we melt the butter, the garlic, and the uh, salt together. So basically, the recipe calls for a fourth cup of butter. I'm gonna use half of that. Uh, Two small garlic cloves. This is one big garlic clove, so I think that'll be two garlic cloves right there, and um, a dash of salt. And we need to get the garlic cloves minced. So let me get that ready, and then I'll put everything in a sauce saucepan on a real low heat, just to you know just, we don't want to brown the butter. So let me get that ready. All right, go ahead and put all. Puffs in the air fryer. 
and we're gonna do this for at 350 for it says six to eight minutes I find my air fryer cooks a little hotter maybe so I'm gonna do six minutes and around four or five I'm gonna start looking at it now at this point we'll go ahead and melt our butter and our minced garlic just on a low heat and like I said I'm doing half the recipe so this is a, a eighth of a cup of butter or two tablespoons of butter and this is the two uh, garlic cloves and I just minced them up real fine with a knife uh, recipe calls for a pinch of salt but uh, I'm using salted butter so I'm not going to add any salt to it you can if you want and that's pretty much my sauce I'm gonna just leave it on a very low heat and basically once the puffs are done we're gonna brush this lightly on top basically just just the butter I'm not gonna try to add any put any garlic to it but I use this kind of a, uh, a brush which is silicone so it's not gonna get really the the garlic of it I just want the butter so once they cool slightly the puffs we'll brush this on and we're gonna grate a little bit of some Parmesan cheese on top uh, and uh, also we're going to sprinkle a little bit of red pepper flakes on top and for the dipping sauce of course we're going to use some marinara I'm going to go ahead and warm this up a little bit in the microwave and just so everything gets a nice brown on them I'm going to go ahead and turn over the rolls I got about two minutes left on my cook cycle Put them back in so I'm thinking uh, just six minutes will be done in my air fryer so just kind of watch it everything looks done to me so now the next step go ahead and get you some good hot marinara then we'll go ahead and put our uh, pizza balls all the way around here like I said I had some of them that the cheese leaked out I guess I really didn't have it sealed all the way let me go ahead and get all these put on the plate I had one that was a bit of a catastrophe so I'm gonna just leave that one and per the directions we'll go ahead and sprinkle not sprinkle but we'll go ahead and uh, brush a little bit of our uh, our butter sauce on top of each one and then of course you know it's it's pizza so you got to have a little parmesan cheese on top and if i got it i'll tr I try to use a fresh one not the jar one so that's our butter get your fancy heat cheese grater and we're just gonna Get a little bit of cheese on top of each one here not too much just a uh, just enough to get a little flavor you know I think uh, Romero would go good too but the recipe called for Parmesan so that's what I'm gonna use and also you can uh, if you want to which I like spicy and I usually add this to my pizza as well We'll put a few uh, red pepper flakes on top. How about you, that looks pretty good. <laughs> First time I'm making it. I'd say they're pretty round. So that's pretty much it. That's the recipe. And this is called Pizza Puffs. And like I said, uh, this wasn't this wasn't with freeze frozen pizza dough. This was just the pizza dough in a can, which to me worked out perfectly. Um, like I said, just just make sure you seal the edges, or else you might have a couple that might leak a little bit. But other than that, I said it came out pretty good. Well, I'm not gonna try a whole one. I'm gonna go ahead and cut one, and we'll kind of see what it looks like here. Hmm. I'll tell you what. That does look interesting. Let's see what we got. Basically like a little miniature pizza roll. Very good. The garlic butter does give it a good flavor rubbed on the outside of it. 
You can kind of see the inside of it. I could definitely see myself eating the whole thing. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button. Thanks.